Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Sadie and today I'm going to be doing this look using the Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette. Um, a few of you guys um, suggested um, I have another play around with this pan. Have another play around with this palette so I thought I'd do so while I'm currently waiting on a delivery. So um, yeah, if you like so done this look, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I done um, uh, just uh, on my community page post on YouTube, just asking what people um, palettes to suggest. And before I actually um, put that post up, I was looking at my mini breaker palette and um, the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette, and a few people actually saw the Nikki Tutorials one. So that's what I'm gonna go with today. Um, as you can see, I created this look. I really, really fancy like a proper spotlight halo eye. And I mean, I just had to go in again with the shade Pride. It's just so, so pretty. Okay, so I just took like a cheap flat four line brush and I took the shade Slasher, which is like just the deep matte purple in the palette. And I put in my outer corner, inner corner and through my crease. Right, I've kept it in like this um, circular motion because obviously the halo eye you want it to be a bit more rounder. I mean, I have done ones where I like smoke it out, but I fancied a round up today. I then took an Urban Decay blending brush and I took the shade Amikai, which is the red in the palette, and I sort of just stamped it on just on the edge of that um, slasher shade. Right, then I took a Morphe M507 and the shade Blend and Snap, which is the light pink shade in the palette, and I just blended that out very lightly around the edge. Obviously, first go around, don't do this like too precise because I'm going to go back in and blend everything out a little bit better. Okay, so for me, that's just like laying down the colours. And I'm basically just going to redo those steps and just finesse them a little bit better. Alright, for the second go, that blend and snap shade is where I'm really gonna really blend this out a little bit more. I'm really sorry about the lighting. There's a massive dark cloud that's just come over. Alright, now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna quickly do um like the halo shape using my P. Louise 7072 brush and blank canvas. Um there's no reason for me to clean this up because I'm putting a pink on, so it doesn't bother me about it being really clean. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly do that. Um, so just a tip for this bit, I keep my eyes open and I literally will just put like a line just above where my crease area is. Um, you can sort of see here, there's my crease, and you can just see I've elevated just a little bit. And I'll create like this half circle on top there and then blend it down and then we'll get into all that with blending the eyeshadows. I'm just going to get my finger and blend the edges a little bit. Alright, I grabbed the same brush I had slash on and I just blended the edges a little bit more. Then I took a Cryolan uh, 10 brush. I think it's a 10 brush, it's just like a little shade of brush and I got the Mikai shade. And I blended that next to it as well, just a little bit. I 
just roughly because I'm going to put the pride shade on top anyway. So just my finger first, I'm going to take that pride shade and I just mean, oh, watch it, watch it go on. Watch it go on. Look at it. I then took a Morphe S28 brush and I just sort of like tight lined it a little bit better so it's a bit neater because I can't get right up to the edge of it up here. Um, so that is like literally it for the top bit. Um, right, let's go on to the bottom. All right, um, I don't know what more, what more, what, um, hold on. I don't know what more, much more I can tell you is that I literally done exactly what I done on the top to the bottom, just adjoined it and made it really nice and round. I struggled doing it on this side, so this is gonna be very fun. Okay, now that I'm pretty happy with that, I'm gonna go in with a waterline colour. And I was actually downstairs to get my blank canvas and then I got this recently and I was like, I've got to incorporate this. I got limelight, I got limelight, I got two of them because I had to. Um, yeah, I mean, I have wanted this for so long and I'm so upset that I didn't get it when it first came out. But um, yeah, Peter Louise bought this back and I bought two of them and it looks awesome in the waterline. So I'm gonna pop some of that on. I'm gonna like put a light layer on first, then put my mascara and then I'm gonna put this on. It's my blurry, can you hear the rain? So bad. Right, that's one light little layer. I'm gonna pop some mascara on my water waterline, lash line. I'm like so sorry if you can hear the rain on my window, it's coming down hair V. But I'm just going to go in with um, a matte black liner, put some liner on and put some mascara on and I'm going to put on my uh, House of Blue Lashes in shade Clara. No I lie. Oh my god that rain is so loud. I'm taking a detail shader brush from Zoeva and I'm taking the shade Ivy and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. Oh my god, I'm just gonna go so hard. Then I took my Lick My Glit Extreme Frost from Jeffree Star and I popped that on my brow bone with the same brush. Just so it has a little bit of like sparkle at the top. Alright, so there we have it. It's very short and sweet, but um, yeah, I'm not going to go off, do my base, and I'll be right back. So there we have it, guys. Here's the finished look. Um, base is normal, it's over decay. Um, I actually used um, Blend and Snap as my blush, and I love it. Um, highlighter is Ice Cold and Lick My Glit. And my lip is actually a Christmas Cookie lip liner, and then um, Nude Colony Velvet Trap. I thought. As I'm patiently waiting for him, I may as well put one on. Um, but yeah, I'm like obsessed with this look. Like the green and the pink and the purpley vibe is so my shit at the moment and I love it. Limelight in the waterline is literally going to be everything for me now. Like, I can't wait to do more looks using limelight. But yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with this look. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.